Welcome to the NHL Wraparound Podcast, featuring Neil Smith, President, General Manager of the 1994 Stanley Cup champion New York Rangers, and longtime ESPN NHL veteran Vic Morin. Together, they share no-nonsense opinions on news and issues around the National Hockey League. Whether you're a casual or diehard fan, each episode of NHL Wraparound will leave you more informed. Now, here's your hosts, Neil and Vic. This is the human side of the story being brought to you by the Game 7 Group. And Vic, we heard from uh, head coach Jim Montgomery of the Boston Bruins how important it is to have good leaders on their team and how the team has to bond to be able to be successful in the National Hockey League. They sure do. And the ultimate goal is to win playoff series and even more dramatically, win game sevens, because those are the two ultimate words in sports. Succeeding requires the best of teamwork. At the Game 7 Group, transforming individuals into cohesive groups allows every team the potential to achieve extraordinary results. Game 7 Group offers various services such as team-building events, plus coaching and speaking engagements aimed at improving team dynamics, productivity, and overall performance. We all want to succeed in the big moment. Check out the Game 7 Group website at Game7Group.com slash NHL Wraparound to learn more. Right now, a special incentive offer awaits our podcast listeners. Take your team to the next step. The Game 7 Group will get you there. You know, just quite an extraordinary conversation with Jim Montgomery, but really his story goes well beyond behind the bench. It sure does. And one of the things that I most admire about Jim Montgomery is the fight that he had off the ice that he is fighting all the time. And he talked about in 2023 when he won the Jack Adams Award, leading the Boston Bruins to that record setting season. What a speech he gave at the awards. Three and a half years ago, the Dallas Stars terminated my contract because of my struggles with alcohol. And I had to change my actions and behaviors. And that's when my new team, the most important team in my life, has really is what leads to the success that I live daily right now. To change your actions and thank you. Well, you can see what I mean about uh, having admiration for a guy who can stand up and at his Highest moment, uh, being coach of the year in the National Hockey League, bring up some of the lowest points uh, of his life and having the courage to do that. And that's what makes him uh, such a great person and a great leader. But, you know, the thing that a lot of people don't know about Vic is the uh, player, Jim Montgomery. They certainly know about him in Maine because he played for the University of Maine and was incredible. Four years he was in Maine. He was named an all-star three years in a row, 91, 92, and 93, and he was named NCAA Tournament Championship MVP when he captained the Maine Black Bears to a record of 42 wins, only one loss, and two ties. And, of course, they won the 1993 National Championship. Now, what you might not also know is that in the title game, with Lake Superior State, it took a third period hat trick by Jim Montgomery for Maine to win that championship. And he, Montgomery finished his career at Maine as the school's all-time leading scorer with 301 points on 103 goals and 198 assists. His number 19 is retired by the school, one of only three players that have that honor. Now listen to the other two. They're both Hobie Baker Award winners, Scott Pellerin and the great Paul Correa. So you know what? Jim Montgomery is having a great coaching career, uh, and he was a great college player. He wasn't a great NHL player by his own admission, but he's uh, – He's just a guy to admire in the way he has been able to handle his life. And he has certainly built legacies in several different areas, and we wish him all the best for continued success. Well, that'll wrap it up for our show for today. Thanks to my Gray and the Game 7 group. Thanks to our listeners. Send questions or comments to NHL 
wraparound at gmail.com. And don't forget, our website is nhlwraparound.com. All episodes, including the 1990 Forever Series and the commemoration of the Flyers' 50th anniversary of their first Stanley Cup championship, are available on both audio and video platforms. Next episode, we'll wrap up the 2024 Stanley Cup final and look ahead towards the draft and free agency. Until then, Neil and I saying goodbye for now. Thanks for joining us on the NHL Wraparound Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all the NHL action. 